good morning. It is Friday. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, it it's is. Friday. Friday. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Sorry. And we slept like logs. I got like seriously like 11 hours of sleep. I never do that. I woke up just literally like 30 minutes before you. Before I got your like 30 minutes before I got your text like I'm awake. I was like I just woke up as well and then just laying there. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sean and I are reliving a a Kansas experience. Kansas and, Mobile. And yeah, we go to IHOP. I'm trash and I love it. <laughs> It's just good. I mean, come on. Well, our theory was we'll go to IHOP and it's, CVS, which we have to do. Yeah, it's right by our hotel. And then go explore. Yeah. Rather than like go explore, try and find breakfast, come back to a CVS. It's just, let's just get food, go to CVS, and then, or Walgreens or wherever we're going, and then go explore. Yes, because today's a historic day. We are, we are going to be tourists. And we're going to go to all the historic sites, like I, George Washington's house. Yes, and then Here's Jackson the Stonewall, Stonewall, Stonewall. Stonewall. Oh, I think it's Stonewall. See, I'm useless. Um, what is it? Is it his office or his a something? house. Is it a house? No. I don't know. I feel like this is more your yes. local history yes. compared to my West Coast Washington history, yeah. which is like, where's the gold rush? Where's the Oregon Trail? Right. But that's okay, we'll learn. That stuff I know. That's why we're here. So we're gonna IHOP. So Katie, what are you doing right now? While we're at breakfast? I'm looking for a spa for tomorrow because I don't do anything tomorrow. Okay, bougie queen. No, I'm serious. <laughs> why not treat yourself? And you found it? The prices are amazing because we're not in California anymore or New York. It's kind of awesome. I say do it. Why not? Here we are. Always having to get stuff because this is how we roll. Yep. Maybe they'll have a little oil thingy. Something oil that is huge. So Katie, what are we up to today? We are going to George Washington's house. Because we are fake history nerds. Yes, we are. We're going to learn. Uh, the cool part is, it's right by the studio. So here are the studios. Next door. And it's just like, plop, then you're in historic land. And the studio is an old church, and I wonder how old the church is. Like, is it the time of George Washington? And so this was the oh, church yeah. next door to his house? It's like, it's, I don't know. But the stained glass, though. Like, when did stained glass happen? I don't know. I don't know either. So here we are. We're on the poster. Studio, <laughs> yes. We were on the poster. That's us, right there. And then, hey guys. And then we are going up to do the George Washington Office Museum. So, so I guess um, from my little reading during breakfast, my quick Google, George Washington. <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> reading. Yeah. I was looking for a spa. <laughs> I was reading about George Washington's house. She was getting a spa day set up. Um, this is like a big area. This whole like Winchester was big for his early adulthood and his military and political career. It's kind of where it started when he was 16, 17. Interesting. Um, so I guess that's George Washington. Yep. There we are. And um, so this area, so I think that was his house that he was living in. And this was like the center of something. It says in 1748, he arrived at age 16, called Fredericktown. During the next four years, he worked as a surveyor throughout the colonial Virginia frontier. Yeah, so I guess in the museum, there's a miniature of the town back then, and then a bunch of like his like survey equipment he used. That cannon is one of the leftover artifacts from when this was like a like an army fort kind of thing that he was doing and so help building and surveying. It's like one of the last ones. So that's a cannon. So, okay, so we're out here trying to be educational, pretend educational. And then, cause we're right by the studio, everyone's like loading everything up for the shows. And then Hello. we meet Steve. Call me Jocelyn Meyer. I have for 35 years. That's so you've amazing. done this version for 35 years. Yes. How did you get wrangled into this? 
<laughs> my daughter was dancing, and I think I was Drosselmeyer her year as Clara. The year before that, my wife and I were parents in parents' dance, and I just can't break a habit. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's so cool. That. So it really is. Like, Melissa, you were saying that, like, Nadia's parents made this, like, family community situation, oh, and it really yeah. has... And I, I texted Nadia the other day. I was like, Nadia, just, you know, be very proud of what your parents made. And on top of that, Melissa is keeping it going. Uh -huh. And she's doing such a good job because we have felt overly welcomed yes. and overly just way too thoughtful. And it's just been such a great experience. We're just, yeah, it's been amazing. But you all have given us the gift, so. No, we're not at all. Grateful. Okay, here we go. I know, right? That's bonkers. You're just like, oh wait, is this the cannon? This monument marks the trail taken by the army of General Braddock, which left Alexandria, 1755, erected by the Society of Colonial Dames of America in the state of Virginia. Oh, maybe this is the actual, like, one that was left from the 1755. This one looks much older. There's only one cannon that was left from the time there. This huh. looks a little rougher than the other one, so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Here we go. Wait, can we not go in? <gasps> October 31st? Oh no. We're locked out. We tried to educate ourselves the town says must be stupid. It's locked. Why is it closed? Oh, I wonder because of like weather and stuff. Because it's delicate and it's too cold and they can't have it in and out. Maybe. Oh, huh. well. This is George Washington's house that we are not allowed in. It's Correction. It's it his was his office. office. Look. See, kids, read. Katie read the plaque. While constructing Fort Greeley, George Washington used the center room of Just read, kids. Which we should probably be able to do. Probably. Yeah, that, that means... We could update that. Oh, wow, the hair. Okay, yeah? This is such a nice experience. Oh, it's been lovely. Everybody's wonderful. <laughs> way too sweet. Way too sweet. The kids are wonderful. They think way too highly of us. I'm yeah. like, do you know we are a hot professional mess? We're a mess. But I guess that's why they like us. Because we're you real. Know, for me too, like I was saying to Melissa, the director, I and you guys have probably seen this on YouTube. I kind of was in YouTube burnout mode for a little bit. I didn't know what else to do. I felt like, why am I still doing this? And then just to hear that, like it's, it does like help these kids and help people. I'm like, okay. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Because, because like when you. But May of 2024 will be 10 years. Right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. It's just, it's hard because you're in your, like, we do this, like, social media stuff, which is lovely and fun, but it's kind of like, you do it kind of like within your own bubble. It's very independent. Yeah. And we interact here and there, but then all of a sudden, when someone, like, Melissa, like, so we weren't even trying to, like, talk to anyone or whatever. We were just walking by the studio. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... That's how we met uh, Steve and Fritz's dad, who was like so happy to meet me. Um, and Melissa, they were there because they were loading up the cars because parents and volunteers are setting up the whole stage and everything. So they're loading up the cars with like the floor, the Marley and everything else. And they just like, they sought us out to come like see us. And then Melissa was telling us that she just never thought she could give kids like a yeah. window out like a window to what all this leads to yeah and so it does it does help to have that like kind of like a like throw in the face rain check like check like yeah. slap in the face like like to hear that like Melissa like no like we hear from the students like oh so I was just watching Catherine Morgan's videos about this yeah. I'm gonna try this now yeah or like she taught me how to do point shoes or like yeah 
and 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 that like most of like the only people I recommend ever are you and, and Claudia because I know it's truthful information and right. positive information and beneficial right. information. So it's nice to be like, okay, all the effort. Oh my God, what are we seeing? I That's just so pretty. Song. Is it a church or something? It's just one of those moments that's like, it's really gratifying. And it, it, and it makes me feel like it, like, yeah, I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Cause like I see, to be quite honest, I see YouTubers that have like millions of subscribers and they're like opening things or they're throwing things off a ledge or you know what I mean? Like yeah. channels that have millions and millions of viewers that are like opening packages. And I'm like, why? I'm spending hours filming these things. Creating this yeah. content, thinking of information, yeah. and trying to be like delivery differently and everything. What am I doing? And now, yeah, that's what makes it work. Yeah, it's nice. It really hits hard. It hits hard. It's really nice. Yeah. It's very sweet. So, anyway. back to our historical adventures. Where are we going? What are uh, we doing? Jack Stonewall Jackson. Do you know how to get there? She just pointed down the street, so I walked. Oh, where are we going? It looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google. Look, it looks beautiful. Shirley. It's lovely and sweet and charming. My arm's being tired. I'm gonna Google real fast. So on our little walk to Jackson's Stonewall Jackson's office, office. It's an off that one's an office. Um, we're not really sure where we're going, so we're wandering. But guess what? So Nadia gave us a list of things we had to go do, and one of the big ones. Oh my God, there's two. We're gonna have to go to both. Oh, yeah. Clothing accessories, children's boutique, crystal, china. Okay. Oh, this is like, this is Catherine Morgan in a store. <laughs> this is Catherine Morgan <laughs> in a store. One of the things that was a checkoff list that had to be done by Nadia was go to a place called Kimberly. She's like, if you want like holiday tchotchkes, little knickknacks and everything, you have to go here. And then it was brought up the other day too in the studio about like it's cute places to go. So we're just walking all of a sudden, we see this decked out little house. It's Kimberly's. There's two of them. And then there's that one. So we're gonna make a little pit stop and go look at knickknacks and cuteness. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no, there's a car. Um, and then we'll be educational, but yeah, first Kimberly's. Here we are. This is cute. So charming. Look at you, Santa. Oh my, Santa. Cute, cute, cute. Homemade ice cream. Oh, that's next door with our big expansion. Adorable. Past Christmas, by the time she's six months in a row. Cute. Let's go. So this must have been like like an old house. Yeah. That's cool. <gasps> this is cute. If that doesn't say that's a Catherine Morgan gift. Six to nine months. Oh, my <laughs> that these Christmas gifts are cute. Cute. So cute. So we walked into the first store of this Kimberly store. Did not take long for Katie to find something. For my niece. Yes, yes. Her little niece. And now we're having to go in, oh my, now we're going into the second one, which I think is more knickknacks and less clothing. So I'm super stoked because, I mean, look at these, 
Look at your last size. Shop the holidays at Whole My mom Market. had a Get tradition right, when I was young in Nutcracker to give me the big, like, four foot size Nutcrackers every year from Costco. And back at PMB, there was the tables downstairs in, like, the entry for the, like, the theater, the loading dock area. Which is where, like, as kids, you would leave notes to the company to get, like, signed shoes and stuff. Or you would leave gifts to, like, your friends or whatever, or, like, gifts to company members. And so my mom thought it was so fun to put the full size nutcracker on the table always with my name on it. It was kind of embarrassing, but it was very cute. We have like six of them at home in storage now. Yeah. Oh boy, this is, I love this. Oh, the tree, and oh my god. Does it smell like holiday joy? It's like a, it's like, it tells you where to like put everything. Amazing. I love this store. So do you know how I learned about crystal on TikTok? I learned, so there's all, you said you love the, like, Dublin? Dublin. Dublin? Dublin. Okay, well, I'm not classy like that, so I have no clue. You can tell if it's real crystal, because you did the crystal ding check. You're supposed to hit it, and it's supposed to, like, I can't remember if crystal rings or doesn't ring. I don't know, because someone on TikTok was like, if you go to, like, Marshalls or Ross to check, sometimes they have, like, real crystals. She goes, all you have to do is to do the ding check on it. And I was like, I feel like I would end up breaking a lot of stuff in a store. <laughs> Trying just to keep tapping the... <laughs> See, that's why I want my house look like. Right, me too. Paul kill me. Oh, look, there's, like, a stag. So, like, something like that would be Harry Potter themed. Have you know? But, but the stag subtle. room. It's subtle. You know it refers to James Potter if you're a Harry Potter nerd like I am. So you know it's the stag Patronus. But in reality, it's kind of casual. That's what I want. Thankfully, Chris would be fine with Oh, I feel like he likes decadence. Yeah, he, he has a very good taste. Yeah. So I'm an idiot. I was like, wait, what is this like big apple for? I forgot that this was like the apple state of the country. Yeah, it's Macintosh for... apples. Right? Macintosh apples are from here? Yeah. Really, the more you know, I never knew it. I always thought Washington, my home state, was apple situation, but I found out this was before Washington. That's why they have the apple festival and everything here. Oh no, not we have to go straight down here. Ooh, wait, this is the library we were supposed to go to and go in. Oh, can we go in? Look at that. Crossbar, we should probably wait for the light. We're New Yorkers, we just cross. Have you seen those reels that are like, there we go. We're millennials. We automatically do this. We're New Yorkers. We do that. They, they list off the things. I don't go on TikTok. It's on reels on the intro. It's, my algorithm's a mess. My algorithm is all over the place. And it's always like... I can't do TikTok. It's like, we're millennials. We have travel trauma we bring on to our lives. Oh my God, bird. Oh. And then it's like, we're New Yorkers. Of course. We're not going to cook. The He's going to... currently closed. What the f***? Why? That are closed. It's yeah. We're supposed to go in. Well, let's at least take a photo. Can we take a photo? So we can't go in. My hair looks light and it's very fluffy and round. I didn't really do it this morning. Oh god. I also like I washed have so it. So many videos of vlogs from you fixing your hair before you talk. <laughs> I do. It's like a thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> These are public images. It would be weird Please. if I didn't. You push your cord and then fix your hair. You don't fix your hair before you push your cord. Because I just hold it up and it's an automatic to push the button to record. Oh. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Good thing I'm not self-conscious about my life or anything. Not too much. There's no like kind of trauma creeping in there or anything. <laughs> I'm not feeling good enough about anything. No, I'm kidding. That's, that's oh, shh. I just did it again. I just did it again. It's called being a ballet. Okay, Look how pretty so. This is. this is like a whole like side balcony at the library to go to. 
that we can't go to. Oh, we could go on the balcony. It was a side entrance, like a little archway thing. Oh. Let's walk through it, here. I bet in like spring or summer, maybe like a little table out here to do work or read would be so cute. I Have a coffee. Like weddings or oh weddings yeah. Or oh, a photo shoot. Oh, could you imagine you like in like some kind of dress or gown? I'd yell about that. I would do it in like a, some nice suit or something. Right? That'd be cool. Or wedding pictures or I don't know. Oh yeah. Can we look in the window? Please let us in. Oh, it's really pretty. What the? F it's Hogwarts vibes. Uh, we're not trying to break in, I don't think, but. Oh, it's. Cool. These are the back rooms, though. I want to see what the front rooms look like. That's oh, cute. It's skeleton time. Wait, look at the little squirrel back there. Chess. <gasps> He's cute. Look, he turned to face us now. Oh. Hey, buddy. He seems very unfazed. He must know he's being recorded. He knows his good angle. Oh, how cute. Eating garden. Oh, who's innocence? What's this statue? Oh, the kid's reading. The squirrel's looking at him. Oh, it's a memory of Grace. Beloved mother, grandmother, and mother-in-law. 1918 to 2007. Wow, that's cute. Wait, what's my house like? It's charming. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, count. <laughs> we are at least, at least up to double digits. I love, I love charming things. I, the houses that I have loved here have charm to them. Makes me want to move here and get one of these houses. What if this was like your summer home or your fall home? Ugh, or your Christmas your home. Your Christmas home. Wait, so I think this is, no, that's not it. Wait, look at this one. Wait, is Yes, old houses take a lot of work, but oh my goodness. Oh, wait, here it is, here it is, the museum. That's so weird that all of a sudden, right beside something that's like normal person's house is a historic museum, like the house back there. It's Stonewall Jackson's headquarters, which is allegedly haunted. Open daily, 10 to 4. Well, oh, everything... No, April 1st to October 31st. What the f I'm going up to the windows. But look at this house. But that's so weird. You just like, a natural, I'm just learning natural historical, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we can go in the back probably too. Oh, look, a casual cannon. Okay. Cool. Advice to people, if you want to do all the historic stuff, come between April and October. Yeah, now, why am I winded from that little hill? <laughs> it's so cute. It's so charming. Drink up. Ding. Wow. Yeah. I can't even see and they closed the windows. It says ring bell. Closed. Under the provisions of the historic sites, act of August 21st, 1955, this 35. site, oh, is that 35? 35. Oh my God. Uh, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh wait, I can see in here almost. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to Google him. So per usual, if something's closed, then they can't go inside there, but there's no gates around the house. So I'm going to walk to the back because I'm intrigued to see what's happening. And you know what? If it is haunted, 
Hopefully the spirits know that I'm here for complete interest because I want to support this role. Oh, Katie, it looks cool. It's just so cool. No, we won't. Oh my God, I saw, I saw a plaque and I thought it was a gravestone. <laughs> and I got scared. It's not a gravestone, it's a plaque. Here, this plaque is for it's an Eagle Scout project. It's fine. Oh. This brick patio. That's cute. That's charming. Cute. This is an Eagle Scout project, making this patio and bench from Troop 45 in April 2015. The brick patio was made possible by a generous donation, Frederick Block, brick and stone. That's cute in the hardware supply store. But look at this. Look it's like a big cottage. Yeah, look, I love the, the old front? Yeah. That's definitely the old front. Yeah, I can see that. It was, um, it was allegedly haunted. Eagle, another Eagle Scout. That's cool. Okay, community. That's pretty cool. There's a squeak. It's not open, but... It would have been cool. Been... We tried, guys. We really did try. Wait, that's I know, I tried to look in, but I can't see. You can just see under the blinds enough that you can see, like, okay, there's a desk there, but I couldn't see with the camera lens angle. Well, yeah, it's haunted. There's no souls. No, but like, like, I mean, I mean, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I just but, saw a I'm car. Sorry, is this <laughs> it's very cute. Um, I saw someone pull their car into their house in the back. Okay. And cars just drove across the front. But yeah, there's like no one really out and about. It's it's very... Um, there's no like stirring around the houses that we walk by. All these houses just seem empty. So that's kind of intriguing. Look at that big one up there. Oh, what's that do we think? Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. That's an estate. Wait, Katie, question. What if we just kind of traveled around the country on little adventures? That sounds awesome. What do you guys think? And kind of, we could vlog our little experiences and do something like, um, do you, th okay, so let's say, like we came here, they have a school, whatever, taking class. Yes. What if we did something like, we kind of flew places to go take classes at. And like explored and vlogged? Yeah, and then be like tourists. I love that pool. Like this. I love that pool. Okay, so like, here we go, guys. Guest parking, yeah, this is a hotel. I wonder if this is where she wanted to put us. Okay, so if we, let's say this. Would it, would people want to see that and deal with us and our shenanigans that much? <laughs> Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. Would you want us to find places to take class at? Yeah. It could be like a dancer's guide across America. Yeah, I like that. Or like, I like that. Katie and Sean tiptoe across America. <laughs> Tippy toes. Tippy toes. <laughs> <laughs> or jet train across America. <laughs> okay, so okay, Chene here we go. Across America. Chene across America. <laughs> okay, so here we go. If we go and let's say we travel to towns or cities that have open classes because mm -hmm. we I still have to dance stay, stay in shape we could maybe let people know good places to go take class when they're around and traveling uh -huh. and then we can take imagine we can explore and see what like how charming the town is or how exciting it is and food and everything and do like a little like dancers travel vlog series would you people want this I like that idea. I like that idea too. Huh. That could be really fun. <laughs> it could be really fun. Sign me up to get on a plane and flail. <laughs> Let's go. So let us know. I think this might be brilliant. Yeah. And give us a name. Do you like Dancer's Guide? What is it? I don't know. Dancer's, Dancer's Guide to America. Dancer's <laughs> Jeté Across America. Sean and Katie Jeté Across America. <laughs> tippy toe across. Katie and Sean tippy toe through. <laughs> um, Shani for Jesus. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I don't know. But oh, this is cool. Oh but something. Wait, no, wait, wait. Okay, so then, well, you also <laughs> give us recommendations. Then give us recommendations. Are there towns or studios we should go to and take have open class, or that you guys want us to? We can do some research. If we were to do it like a dancers travel show or like a little like vlog like a vlog little like show like a, like a video blog where would you want us to go that's a vlog a video blog that's a vlog that's oh my god vlog. yeah where would you want us to go let us know we'll see we'll see what what's doable what's, what's we'll see what the interest is so wait this is a condo building now but it was the fort we think that george washington was making and surveying that we, they talked about because that's the same name the Fort Loudon. Loudon? Loudon. Loudon? You're going French, yeah. Okay. Wow, because it's this huge, now it's a, com a, a condominium complex, but it's like this big centerpiece on a hill. Wow. Yeah, go through the door. I don't care. Let's go. Rules are guidelines. Remember that. Nope, can't go in. Okay. Okay, we tried. It's beautiful. Is it? I can't see in. Oh, it's cool. Okay. I don't need, we don't, yeah. Yeah, it's a condominium. But it's the former fort. Wow, that's cool. Wow. I wonder what their HOA fees are though. Yeah. Probably because it's historic. I just told you about our historic house, you have to like replace everything with the original material. So what happens when it's like a, what is it? A 17 something <laughs> built. Built by George Washington. <laughs> what are those HOA fees there? Let us know. <laughs> yeah, if you live in the fort, <laughs> help us out. So we are here at the hideaway, a little coffee shop on our corner. And we, I got a little picnic of coffee for our rehearsal on our walk. I'm very dehydrated, so I only got water. <laughs> so we're seeing my little cute family place thing. I love this, like, eclectic little... Right? This could be happening It's great. Wait for it. Charming. <laughs> Everyone's really drunk. Just slash. Blacked out. You are blacked out prior to this point. This whole town is charming. I'm sorry. It is. No, this place is adorable. I mean, it's... It's just so cute. So yeah, here we are. Then we're gonna go play all rehearse and we're gonna do a warm-up class and then we're gonna go do some stage. Today's our stage rehearsal. So it'll be our second rehearsal, which will be our stage tech dress. Spacing and then open fun. Here we are. We're at the small campus that the theater is at. That is a high school that looks like a small town. It looks like a small town. <laughs> I wish, oh, can I go up front? But here we are, locked out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can you come let us in that back door that's by the courtyard on the opposite side? Do you mind? Thank you so much, Taylor. This one? Oh, cool. So there's like a lot of space. Yeah, like, that's like, cool. That's nice. Yes. Hi. Sorry. We're vlogging our experience. Vlogging? Well, I'm the technical director and the theater teacher here. So <gasps> Hi. And your I name is? Miss O'Keefe. I hope the kids left a beautiful dressing room. Oh. <laughs> Let's go see if it's can I walk out on stage real fast? Is that okay just for a quick view of the theater? Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Because they don't need to change or anything. Hi, guys. Howdy. Wow. Yes, sir. So this is, wow. This is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. What I think is also funny is that when. Okay, so we're in the theater right now. I don't know what I did. Okay, what is this? What did I just find? Who is this Western woman? This 
is the find of the trip. Who is she? <gasps> it's Patsy Klein. Amazing. And so they have Patsy Klein here. So everyone came early because me and Katie had the stage for an hour to mark through our stuff and feel the lights and the tempo. But they all came to watch Katie mark through things. So yeah, that's where we are. Tech rehearsal. I don't dance yet. I fixed my hair again. I'm telling you. So we're at the front of the stage. We're spacing finale right now. A little tech rehearsal, a little stage rehearsal. I'm really thinking of dinner right now. And I'm, and I'm really thinking of nap time afterwards, slash that's bedtime. So with your right arm, she's gonna lean on you, Brody. Support her. The battery is worth more than you are. I know he is. OMG. That was get lower. You have to do a lower lunge, Brody. A lower lunge. Sorry, we're taking a time. I love this. Here. Go, 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 go. Lower, lower, lower. Lower arm, Brody. Lower arm. Lower arm. Lower. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Like you want to be almost flat. One more time, go, here we go. Support, support, that's it, that's it, that's it. Forward, 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 too much. Too much? Yeah. They're like, wow. they're like macaroons. <laughs> right? They're cute. They look like, um, what's the era? The show. so Victorian. Oh my gosh, yeah. so Victorian with the collar and the ruffle. Yeah. Okay, so our tech dress happened. Good job, Summer. Thank you. We did it. Beautiful. Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner, nap, shows. Dinner, nap, and shows. <laughs> no, guess what? Watch. Guess what Katie's getting tomorrow Bye, morning? Beautiful. Katie you. scheduled herself on her day off because she doesn't have to do those two shows. I do. A massage and spa day. Oh, I may or may not have booked my Murphy Valley. Right here. Hello. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, so Katie booked a massage and spa day for Saturday morning. I haven't done that in over a year. She's like, you know what I want to do? I haven't done that. I know, I love it. And I would have done the same thing if I had Saturday off. I just was like, here Hydro we are. Hydrotherapy and scrub and massage. That sounds lovely. Amazing. So here we go. Dinner time. Bye. I know. It's just so cute here, like this little seated area. But where are we going for dinner? Village Square. This came highly recommended to us here in Winchester. So here we are. How are you feeling, Katie? I'm hungry. Me too. We're by a nice little walk. Oh, I want to shout out to Claire. <gasps> oh, it says sugar plum? That's cute. Okay, so I got the seafood chowder, roasted Brussels sprouts, some salad with green goddess or something, I don't know, the market salad and bread. I'm so excited. So yeah, this is our meal for tonight. Well, no, this is our appetizers. Appetizers. Okay, so I have the pork chop. No, pork loin, pork loin. A potato of some sort or something? I'm not really sure. Asper this is so great. Filet mignon with the cheesy potatoes and the green beans. And oh boy, here we are. 